Good morning, my sister and brother. Trusting that you are doing well. This is Berta Warrior from Living Waters Movement, where I help women who are passionate about prayer start and launch their very own global prayer ministry. How are you today? So happy preparation day. Happy preparation day. Trusting that you are doing well. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. How is it in your neighborhood? So let me go ahead and get started today. We are dealing with E shall receive power in this uh, devotional by Ellen G. White. And we're going to be talking about laying a firm foundation. But before I get started, um, you can go and purchase my book if you, uh, at, you can go and purchase my book at bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 2021. Second book is bit.ly, the number 15 compelling reasons 2022. And so let's go ahead and start, um, let's go ahead and bow for prayer, and then we're going to get into our lesson. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I ask you that you would decrease me, Father God, so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, laying a firm foundation. Then e, then we, therefore, be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carry about every winds of doctrine by the slight of men and cutting craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. And this is coming from Ephesians 4, verses 13. Hey, my brother, how are you? How are you? Happy preparation day. And so it goes on to state, said the voice of God is speaking to us through his words. And there are many voices that we will hear. But Christ has said, we shall beware of them who will say, here is Christ or there is Christ. Then how shall we know that they have not the truth unless we bring everything to the scriptures? Christ had warned us to beware of false prophet who will come to us in his name, saying that they are Christ. Now, if you should take the position that it is not important for you to understand the scripture for yourself, you will be in danger of being led away with these doctrines, okay? Christ has said that they will be a company who in the days of retributive Judgment will say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name has done many wonderful works. But Christ will say, Depart from me, ye that works iniquities. And if you have your Bible, you can turn to um, Matthew 7, verses 22 to 23. The time is coming when Satan will work miracles right in your sight, claiming that he is Christ. And if your feet are not firmly established upon the truth of God, then you will be led away from your foundation. The only safety for you is to search for the scripture as for hidden treasures. Dig for truth as you would for treasures in the earth and present the word of God and present the word of God, the Bible, before your heavenly father and saying, enlighten me, teach me what is truth. And when his Holy Spirit will come into your heart to impress the truth into your soul, you will not be you will not let it go easily let me repeat this and when the holy spirit shall come into your hearts to impress the truth into your soul you will not let it go easily you have gained such an experience in searching the scriptures that every point is established and it is important that you continually search the scripture. You shall store your mind 
with the word of God, for you may be separated and placed where you will not have the privilege of meeting the children of God. Then you will want the treasures of God's words hidden in your heart. And when opposition comes, and when opposition comes around you, you will need to bring everything to the scripture. Let me repeat this last sentence, my sister and brother. It says, then you will want the treasures of God's words. That's why we studied the word of God to hidden in your hearts. And when opposition comes around you, you will need to bring everything to the scriptures. So my sister and brother, here is my Bible. This is the one I normally take to church. It's a small pocket Bible. But this is what we need to be reading on a daily basis so it could be imprinted into our minds. So when we need the scripture, it comes to mind. But if you have never studied uh, the word of God, how will it come to mind when you need the scripture to defend the word of God? Right? So when somebody says, well, why do you go to church on Saturday when everybody's going to church on Sunday? You could state, well, according to Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 through 11, God specifically said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And that is in the word of God. And like I state, there's many, many scriptures. You can go ahead and do, go to my uncle Google and do your own research, my sister and brother. So you need to do research, research over and over, research, research. Hey, my brother. Hey, how are you? Guess where I'm at? I'm over mom. I'm over mom's today. Yeah, yeah, yep, I'm over mom. So I'm hanging out with the family today. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, so I will probably have her call you later. And don't forget to call her tomorrow because tomorrow is her birthday, okay? I know you won't forget because you always do. Never left. So let me get back to my topic. Okay. And so we have to remember that uh, there's many scriptures. Like a state, go to my uncle Google. You could Google and state who changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. And that will be the system, the system that Satan is using to do his bidding. And that system is the Antichrist, my sister and brother. So we have to study the Word of God for ourselves. You can also find uh, this uh, the deceiving, deceptive, uh, how would you say, um, the Antichrist. You can also go to uh, Revelation 13, and it's all over the book. So you could just go and Google who changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday, and that will be very clear to you that that is a system that Satan is using to do his work. And then you can also go and do re do your own research. Uh, was was the Sabbath created for the Jews? But remember, Sabbath was created uh, after God created the world. Remember, he rested on the seventh day. So he gave us a Sabbath as an example that we need to do. So we will be celebrating Sabbath from the beginning of time. It was always a Sabbath. From the beginning of creation, it was always a Sabbath. Always, and it was always Saturday, never Sunday. You can also go to Luke 23, since we just got over Easter, the Easter um, Passover and Friday, Good Friday and all that stuff. And that would be in um, Luke 23. And then you could look like the last verses, like start at verses 51 and read when Jesus, uh, he died. He, he, they, they put him in the, in the, um, in the, in the grave. And he laid there in this in the sup in the sepulchre, and then they then the women left and came back to anoint his body. But you can read the story, and then when you go to Luke twenty four, it says, "And on the first day of the week." So, it, but before that, it states that he rested according to the scripture. So that's Saturday. So he died on Friday. He stayed in the grave on Saturday, right? And he rose what day? The first day of the week. And what day was that? Sunday. That's why a lot of people have Sunday mass and Sunday this and Sunday that. He rose on the first day. So how in the world could the first day be the Sabbath, my sister and brother? So it's a deception going on throughout the world. And what's going on right now when we're talking about this new world order? What is going on, my sister and brother? It, everything is based on one day. Satan wants praise and glory and all this 
okay? God wants the same thing too, but we know that he is the true God, right? So he asks us to remember him on Saturday. And why is that the only scripture that said remember? Because he knew it was going to be coming a time in history that men would be deceived and they would forget all about the Sabbath. So he's asking us as children of, of him to return back to the original day of worship because you're either going to get the mark of the beast or you're going to get the seal of God. And the seal of God is based on all the laws of God, all the Ten Commandments, and including the Fourth Commandment. When you, that, that's the day that God asks us to, to serve him. So when man is saying we need to to worship on Sunday because of the earth and we need to save the earth and we need to do this to the earth. No, my sister or brother, we are not called to save the earth. We are called to warn individuals to get their lives in order because Jesus is coming back and he will destroy this earth. I'm not saying that you go and, and you, you, you ate, you, you, um, um, take your trash and throw it out the window and all that stuff. No, 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 no. We need to take care of the earth by picking up your trash and, you know, take care of all that, take care of the animals, all that stuff. But that's besides the point. We are not supposed to be worshiping these things. Does that make sense? I hope I'm not confusing anybody. We're not supposed to be worshiping these things, okay? We're supposed to be wor worshiping the creator because he's the one that created this stuff for our, for our enjoyment. Isn't that beautiful? God is so amazing, my sister and brother. And he's so amazing that he has you here uh, listening to this topic. So my sister and brother, don't take my word for it. Just do your own research. You have to research. You know, we want everything to just come to us. We want to be entertained. Most people that said after high school, they don't even pick up a book. So I said, if you want to hide a secret, put it in a book. Because most people do not like to read. So I'm, in, I'm encouraging you, my sister, my brother, read the word of God for yourself. Okay, read the word and search everything that, you, that people are placed before you. Even myself, just go and do your own research. I give you scripture. Go ahead and do your own research, okay? I'm just here to warn you that we are in the judgment hour and and God Jesus is coming soon to put an end to sin and wickedness. So we have to make sure that we are on the side of light, the side of truth, not on the side of darkness. But if you find yourself, you know, uh in the side of darkness on Satan's side, it's still you still have time to come over and surrender, you know, confession, surrender your life to the Lord. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and close with my, my scripture is called, closing scripture is going to be, because, you know, it's, it's, on, it's so a blessing to read the word of God back to him, because this is his word. And so I'm going to go ahead and read um, Psalms 119 verses 11 through 16. So this will be our prayer. Uh, Father, you said in your word, Father God, and I'm reading, Father God, from uh, Psalms 119, verses 11 through 16. And it says, Father God, that thy, thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statue. With my lips have I declared all the judgment of thy mouth. I will rejoice in the way of thy testimonies, as many as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts, and I will respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statue. I will not forget thy word. Father God, we have prayed, Father God, that we will not forget your word, Father God. We will take the time, Father God, to study your word, to search the scripture, to see whether these things are so. And Father God, we thank you for this message. We thank you for my sister, my brother, that stopped by here today, Father God. Continue to richly bless us, Father God. We thank you for, fa for Father God for hearing. We thank you, Father God, for answering. And I ask all this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, well, thank you so much for stopping by. So if this was a blessing to you, can you do me a favor? I'm traveling right now. So if you could do me a favor, can you hit the like button, make a comment, hit the share button? Um, 
make comments, 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 and you could share, share, share. Remember, sharing is caring. And then you could follow me over YouTube under Burdell Warrior while you're there. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. So when my videos goes up, you'll be the first to be notified. And thank you, my sister and brother, for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to reach of this, you and your family. And my sister and brother, whatever you're going through, just still praise the Lord. Because remember, the good, the bad, and the ugly, or the indifference, all work together to make us stronger, that we'll get deeper roots into the Word of God. It'll make us, it will humble us. So remember, whatever you're going through, still praise God. Praise God. That's how you're going to get your breakthrough. But if you keep on looking at what's going on, all the stuff that's out of place in your life, you're looking at the wrong thing. You're looking at the wrong thing. And guess what? What you put the energy on, if you put more more, um, more your energy on the negative, you're going to get more neg negativity. So if you want to, to, so what we need to do is put your attention more on what's going on good in your life. Like if you had a, a, sh a sheet of paper and you write, um, like I say, 10 things that you're grateful for, you'll be writing more in those same things that you're grateful for. And then you can look and, and on the other side, you can write all the things that, that you're not, that's been going wrong in your life, you know, but don't put it, don't, don't pay attention to what's going on so wrong. Just keep your eyes, my sister, but focus on the Lord because there's going to be a lot of distraction, a lot of distraction, and it's going to increase as we come to the to the closeness of Jesus Christ. So that's why he said that we have to have a firm foundation. That's why we need to study the word. So when the devil comes to you and try to sway you from this side to this side, you're standing firm because you know beyond of a shadow of a doubt that this is what God says. This is what his word said. And no one, no one can tell you anything different. So if you have to die for the Lord, you decided, yeah, I'm going to stand on the word of God and for my dear life I will die for him that's where we need to get my sister and brother so whatever else going on just give praise God give him praise honor and glory regardless because guess what he loves you so much he loves me so much and that's why God the father sent his son to die for us but we don't have to take all this burden on ourselves but besides it's not even out for us it's for us to give it to him and he is the one, like the child, he is the one that's going to carry us through his children. That's why we are children of God. So my sister and brother, you know, I can go on for days, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you want a copy of my book, you can go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. My second book is bit that ly 15 compelling reasons 2021 one is dealing with a spiritual uh spiritual warfare journal the second one is dealing with 15 compelling reasons why we need to be praying daily my sister and brother stand on the promises of god you will never go wrong by doing that so with that i'm going to do four hugs remember four hugs four hugs four hugs is for survival eight hugs is for maintenance and then 12 hugs is for growth but we're just going to do the four so here we go one two three one more four i tell you it's nothing like a big bear hug i love you my sister i love you my brother so until um until let's see until monday i'll be back monday i uh, i'm not sure if i'll do it earlier or i'll do it before time and, it, and place it on, on Facebook. I'm not sure yet. I'm having a, a busy schedule this weekend. So with that, my sister and brother, have a happy Sabbath. Have a happy Sabbath. Tomorrow is my mother's birthday, so I'm here in town. So have a happy Sabbath. Have a happy Sabbath, my sister and brother. Until then, I love you. I love you. I love you. Appreciate you. And um, let me see. Whatever you do, my sister and brother, Give praise and honor and glory to God. Until Monday, be blessed and take care.
So love you. Mm -hmm. You know, you can never get enough love, right? It's like I, I gave my sister a big, big hug, couple hugs this morning. And it's like, you know what? We should do more of that. Hug on one another, my sister and brother. Because everybody, I don't care how much money you got in the bank. You got billions and billions of dollars in the bank. It does not matter. Everybody's going through something, something. And everybody needs the love, the appreciation, the forgiveness, be more forgiving. Be more forgiving. Until then, talk to you soon. Take care.